Hi everyone, my name is Peter Faria and welcome back to another Day in the Wild episode hosted by Data Mini. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below, click on the bell to turn on the notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. Today we're going to be covering how to send automatic emails to someone. So we're going to be using this short workflow right here. So the first step is to actually transform the data set into a table so we can use this. So let's first drag in the table. The way we're going to set up, you're going to see later on that we have two different ways of doing it. We're going to first create a file and then use the file as an attachment to send that over via email. The first step is to actually drag it in a block until done tool. The block until done is going to allow us to first create the file, then after actually send the file as an attachment. So let's create a file using the render tool. I'm going to specify a specific file, which I'm going to save as the same place as the workflow is saved. So I'm going to write output.xlxx. So this will create a file called output. And then the last step is to actually set it up the email. So before I actually set up the email, uh, let me bring something to notice. You need to allow your email to access less secure uh, applications and then send it over to emails. So the Gmail, you have to Google it, and then you have to enable this right here. So allowing less secure applications and then just set, turn it on, enable it. So for this, after doing that, let's set it up. I'm going to use my personal Gmail account. So I'm going to use the regular FMTP information for the Gmail, which would be fmtp.gmail.com. I'm going to select the encryption uh, option of SSLS, which is going to change the port right here. And then, then I'm going to use the FMTP authentication. So in this case, because I'm using my personal email, I'm just going to be putting my personal email information. This email was something that I created for this specific video. So it contains nothing but the specific email that I'm going to be sending over today. Then put in my password. When it comes to the information right here at the bottom, your regular email information, you can either select from the data set itself, or I can write it out. So in this case, because my data set does not contain the information when it comes to where I want to send it from, or to, or the frequency of the subject, I need to write it out. But as I mentioned before, you can just simply select the column that contains the information if you want to create a more dynamic workflow. So in this case, I'm going to be sending from myself to myself and the subject, which you can just can put it as test. We're then going to add as attachment the file that we created. Since we have not created the file yet, we're going to write the name of the file that will be created. Select X. I do have the option of using the body as to send in the table, this actual data set, or for example, I can actually use a different column, or I can actually write something out. So for example, if I just want to write something out, I can say C attachment. And with this, with this configuration, I'm able to send any mail to myself. So I just run the workflow, and then we should see the email pop up on my actual mailbox. As you can see right here, we're actually able to see the email showing up. As I mentioned before, it was from myself to myself. You see the date right here, the subject, and then we can see the actual file being popped up right here, as well as the body. So this is how we can easily set that up and automatic email to be sent to anyone. So that was it. Thank you guys. Have a nice one. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please comment them below. Don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted. Thank you for watching.